Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. And I'm ready to wake up legendary. And guess what? We got a legendary guest this morning who has created some phenomenal results. And uh, last time she was on, uh, she was surprised. She was, uh, um, you know, she was blown away that she was starting to have a little tiny bit of success. And uh, now she's she's absolutely exploding. So please, everyone, help me welcome big old standing digital round of applause and standing ovation. <laughs> em, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Did you get your dog under wraps there? Don't If he wants to join... <laughs> He probably has seen a lot and has a lot to say as well. Yeah, so, uh, he's always in the background of a lot of my videos. He's really just like an old man who doesn't know how to just relax. <laughs> he's just something yeah. else. But yeah, he might be walking around. We'll see. That's cool. So uh, refresh our, you know, everybody who, well, it's not a refresher for many. You're going to be new. Um, yeah. Tell people your legendary story. Tell people how you got started. Yeah. So I started March 28th. So it's just over, it's been just a little over, well, month, five months. Um, and I knew nothing about it. I had zero experience with it, but I knew that it was something that intrigued me. So I started, I got through all 15 days and I um, kind of, it was like a, not a slow start, but it was kind of like a slow start right at the beginning. And I was like, I remember like being like, I'm never going to like get up and running. Like I just felt like it was slow. And now I just hit platinum last week, the end of last week. Congrats so, on that. Yeah. Really big stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, totally wild. Serious, serious moolah, serious results. And yeah. I mean, life changing. life changing, life changing. Yeah. For me, um, I had been at my previous position for eight years. Absolutely loved it. Loved what I did. Um, but I have chosen to, I put in my two weeks. So I left that and I'm actually homeschooling my children this year, which was a big thing that I wanted to try and now I'm able to do that as well. Um, and so just a lot of different changes that I didn't think were ever going to be in our future because I decided to start this. Yeah. Did you ever think that um, something like this was possible for you coming from the place that you come from and your town is, is, are there other internet marketers or was this something that you ever envisioned for yourself? Um, no, I mean, it's definitely the talk in the neighborhood. I've it's had a really? lot of coffee meetings with people uh, that would like to know what I'm doing and how to do it. Um, wow. I think I get requested for free coffee weekly now, which is really nice. And I'm happy to help. Um, but no, I didn't. I mean, I... I've and isn't it nice that it's not a big deal whether anybody gets involved? Like you're not... You're yeah. not make it's It's... Although I'm not here to like bash MLM because at the end of the day... I, I was an MLMer, a, a tried and true, failed forward many times, yeah. right flat on my face and um, garbage or uh, garage and under the bed of you know, lotions, potions, <laughs> and pills and all that good jazz. But it's for me doing this, being an e learning and uh, using the core four courses, coaching events, or doing affiliate marketing. It's not team building. It's not recruiting. It's not, you know, it's yeah. not that it, and, and I have no benefit uh, to, to prospect friends, family, or prospect any one person in particular, because they're going to be a leader and grow up, blow up my organization or anything like that. And I think that that relieves a lot of pressure for me interacting with my friends, family, or really anybody, because no one person it's not, I'm not trying to recruit them. Do you feel that same sense of relaxation talking about this and pride? Yes. I mean, it's so interesting because they'll be like, so like, how do I sign up? Like people say that a lot. And to me that those words are like, oh, you've been conditioned to like sign up and be on this team. And for me, like I always start off and like, there is no sign up. There's you choose to learn this and you choose to do this and you either reap rewards 
or you don't, but it is based on you. So I'm like, I can tell you, I am as transparent as I can be. I can tell you exactly what I did and what it is. But like, for me, you doing it is not going to do anything for me. It's only going to do something for you if you do it the right way. And for me, that's nice to be able to walk away and just take a breath and be like, you know, it's on you. And I just feel like too, sometimes in, in those different settings and the same thing as an employee and a boss, you're putting in all this work for someone else or for it to be like a team thing. And, you know, the work that I put in, it's really nice to be like, I get the reward for that. Like I put in that work and I get it. Yeah. Um, and I love to help people get like, I love to teach people about affiliate marketing. But what I realized too, is when you're in a MLM or something like that, you, your success is really based on holding other people's hands and like really getting them to go do things, I think for you almost. Mm. Whereas like here, it's like, I can help you as much as I can. But what I realized is you're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. Yeah. And I've had to learn to be like, I only put on your oxygen mask first and step away because I just, you know, I didn't have someone holding my hand through this. Like I put in the time I was gritty with it. I learned and stayed a learner. And I think so many people want that just like secret sauce and that hand holding. And I just, I can't do that for you. You have to learn how to do it. And once you learn how to do it, it's fire and you love it and you enjoy it. And it's something like, I don't feel like I'm working when I even put in the time that I do, but like, I can't make anyone else experience that. I just can't. You, you just dropped one of the most important things ever said on this show, ever said on this show. Um, and it, it, it comes from somebody who's achieved tremendous results, uh, in, in the recent time. And I, I want to just, if we could just replay that back, I, obviously once it's done, we're done being live, it, it will turn <laughs> into a replay and, and we can maybe use that sound bite, but that was powerful. You said, uh, something to the, along the lines of, um, you know, I, I can tell when somebody is asking about, can I sign up that they've been conditioned to think that they need somebody, somebody Mm -hmm. to come in and do it for them or, or kind of give them that one-on-one. And that is without a doubt, um, as you said, it's, it's, you know, you can tell that they've been conditioned somehow, some way, whether they were made to believe coming up in school that they can't do something by themselves, whether they were made to believe in an MLM that they can't do it by themselves, that it's a it's a team thing or it's a, you know, I need I need my uplines help or my mentor or whatever. The truth is, is that ninety nine point nine percent of people out here who say they can be your mentor on the Internet, I I wouldn't let the mentor, the lizard <laughs> that lives in my backyard. You know what I mean? I mean, oh, just yeah, because, there's a lot of people searching for mentors. Oh, and, and, you know, it's almost like it's in many ways, it's like somebody mo- wanting to move from one abusive relationship to the next, you know, because they've probably already had a bad experience with some mentor out there, some shadow, you know, hiding in their Facebook messages, mentor or whatever. And then, you know, they think the solution is, well, I need to go find somebody else, the next person, the next relationship. And what you're talking about there with with doing it on your own entrepreneurship, unfortunately, you know, is a is a lonely sport. It is a it can't you know what I mean? Like this is not a it's not a team sport. Like if you don't get up and do it for yourself at like you said, nobody's going to do it for you. And I think that that mindset that you have is the ex- now, not that you're not talented, but guess what, Am? You know that there's a lot of talented people in our community, but yeah. you got the result. You got the big, massive, ridiculous result. Mm-hmm. And I tend to believe that, yes, you're talented, but it's because you're not sitting around waiting on anybody to come and give you permission to do anything or tell you what to do exactly. You're taking the training, putting your own spin on it, and realizing there's going to be some unknowns. And you're willing to, to, to explore those unknowns instead of letting that fear dominate you. But this, this is such a huge topic in this industry. And I don't think we talk about it enough. 
Yeah, and I think like there's been a lot of people like I'm more than willing to like help and like I I do answer so many questions and I love seeing the people that I talk with that are doing well with affiliate marketing, but I think there's a fine line between like helping and telling you and being fully transparent and answering your questions or like I just can't do the lifting for you. I can't make you wake up and make four TikTok videos a day. I can't make you go and follow up or get an email autoresponder set up or play with your funnels or tweak things. I can't figure out your story. And I think that's hard because I think you have to be very repetitive with your story. If you have not told your story one time today, you have not told it enough. You have to be repetitive. You have to stay consistent. You've got to find those obstacles and learn how to retell them in a different way. And I just can't do that for anyone. Yeah. And for me, I really, I feel like crafted the exact targeted client to very, very specific. And I feel like so many people just keep it general and then it's hard to stay general all the time where it's like, a, you gotta, you gotta be specific. You gotta be repetitive and consistent. And I can't, yeah. I can't do that for anybody else. Yeah. And I mean, the cool thing is, is that we're letting everybody know, like we're not, we're letting you know that publicly maybe before you buy any of our training, you know what I mean? Yeah. Versus coming on and saying, Oh, we're going to be there and we're going to be your family. It's like, come on, man. I mean, you know, this is, this is a community. This is one of the most powerful communities that I I've ever been a part of just legendary. And it's not, I'm just a, a cog in the wheel, but it's powerful because there's a bunch of people who are, we're creating independent versus dependent entrepreneurs. Yeah. And anytime there's a, and that's really important. My role is not to be dominating here or be, um, uh, you know, some guru trying to be everybody's mentor as if I'm the all knowing one. It's like, that's not a, a healthy, that'd be like, um, that'd be like a tyrant in a country or it'd be like a, yeah. an abusive tyrant in a house. Mm -hmm. The same thing can happen in communities. Um, there's a, there's abusive leaders, leaders who abuse their power, leaders who want to create dependent people um, so they can feed their narcissism. What we have to do here at legendary is just continue to tell the truth. That's all that matters. Yeah. Because the truth is always going to win in the long term and in the growth in our community reflects that because we're getting on every morning. And although you're not the first person to say these exact words and make this exact point, um, it's really coming across loud and clear today. But we have said this. I, I mean, I talk this crap all the time, which is this is on you and we're going to support you every step of the way, but we're yeah. not going to work harder on your business than you can, you're going to work and you probably yeah. shouldn't because it's not a good look. You probably shouldn't complain about the results that you're not getting from the work that you didn't do. Right. Cause that's not a good look. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants to buy from somebody who is complaining. People want to buy. So would you talk, comment on whatever you want on what I just said, but I also want to understand how have you developed your confidence to be able to be a leader to people as they're watching instead of be so unsure of yourself, which does come across. Yeah. Um, Not right now, but if you are unsure of yourself, no, it does I, come I totally understand. Like when I started this, I will say like, I really became a, I feel like I became a person that I wanted to be like, just being like very confident in my story and who I am and why I am where I am. And so it's just interesting to me because I feel like um, being as honest as you can be, I feel like that's really where like it excelled for me. Like when people are commenting, like I'm not just like, hey, go check out this, go check out that. Like I straight up answer the question and like, and sometimes I'm a little, not like brutally honest, but there's people that are like, you know, I, I straight up will be like, if you don't want to like get anything higher up, that's fine. But if you, if you choose to quit, you're using that as an excuse to quit. You know, like I feel like I'm very open and honest with whatever questions they have about affiliate marketing. And I feel like people really respond to that and appreciate that. I've had a lot of people that will send me a message and be like, thanks. Like I've never had anyone answer that. I've never had anyone address that. And so I think that's been good, but I think also with my confidence is just seeing like once you tell your story, there's a lot of people that relate to you 
and that you realize you're not alone in that. There are so many people that are just like you, just like anyone else that's out there. Mm. And just staying so confident and like, this is who I am. This is where I came from. It's okay to be there and it's okay to be here now. Yeah. And that I deserve to be where I am. That's been really hard for me to realize. Like, sometimes it's funny. People are like, do you really only work this much? Or, And my husband looked at me and he's like, Emily, you work your butt off. Like, why do you feel like it's just like, he's like, it's not luck and magic. Like you put in the work to get where you're at. And, yeah. and I think that is true too. And I feel like I finally started to realize that. No, like I worked really hard to get here and yeah. it, it's not complicated, um, but you have to work and you yeah. have to stay consistent daily. And, and when you, hi doggy. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Hi old man. Hi, old man down there. Hi. I, 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 I lost a doggy not too long ago, so I, I'm feeling. Yeah. So, well, he ha that's his problem. He's like nine. He's had cancer for a yeah. while, so he just is like always uncomfortable. So he. Yeah. My other my kids are doing fine for the interview, but I knew he was going to be a little bit. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. I I love reality. I like yeah. reality. <laughs> I don't like fake. You know. Oh, let's pretend like life's not going on. Let's let's just embrace everything because we work from home. And hey, look, my kids are over there and they're being loud right now. Yeah. Uh, hey, guess what? I'm gonna have to jump off this interview right now. I'll put my family before any business stuff. I was just, yeah. uh, you know, I, I won't go into a lot of details and things that I've been asked, asked or invited to because I'm sure it would come across as braggadocious, and I'm not trying to be that. But man, I don't like to travel. I don't like to go speak. I don't like to go. I don't like to go. Um, you know, to me, it, the ego deflation and I think becoming right sized in my business, what you were just talking about, feeling confident about the work that I put in. I no longer felt that I needed everybody's validation or I needed to get, you know, friends or family's validation or I needed to go be the man. You know, a lot of times we do a lot of things in in uh, in business just to feed our ego, um, you know. I became right sized in my business, similar to what you're describing, where you build that real confidence just from real hard work and, yeah. and real consistency. And it was amazing. I stopped caring about all the vanity stuff. I stopped caring. Like when I started putting all my self esteem in those appropriate places, and I started to really say, you know, because sometimes when you get successful, you start to your ego. You're like, I'm pretty important. Look at this shit. I mean, people <laughs> want to, they want me to be their spot. Right. But I had to remember why I was doing it too. I got started in this whole thing so I could be home with my family. So I could, I could be around my kids more. I could be around my wife more. I could, you know, and when I'm looking at her and she's sitting over there across the house or whatever, and then, and, and I'm getting tired of look, I got to remember, I got to remember, well, Hey, this is why I started doing this in the first place. Yeah, um, it's not to impress all these people out on the internet. It's not. A, it's not to um, be, become successful and then let my ego take me away. It's. It's so I can stay exactly in this seat that I am right now and not have to get up and leave. What are some of the other benefits that you've had of now? you know, starting this business and they don't have to particularly be about around family, but what are some of the other things that you didn't really expect might happen? Um, well, I was going to say like, what, this is going to be a silly benefit, but, um, and then I'll go into like the real benefits. When I actually started this, we were like so tight that like I got rid of our internet. And wow. so when I was doing this, I would have to drive like 15 to 20 minutes to get internet to post videos. <laughs> Wow. So I like, yeah, we got rid of our internet. You canceled like, the, I mean, that seems. Well, so now we have internet. <laughs> I just can't believe oh, you did that. I mean, you yeah, actually like, can't. I would think that'd be the last thing. The kids, I mean, they got no, no internet. You got, that's unbelievable. Yeah, so that's been a really big benefit. My kids love it. They're like, we have fast internet. This is so cool. Right? And I'm like. Yeah, no, like, dots on the screen, like, waiting, because we just, it was a lot for us, and we just didn't want to put that in our budget at the time, and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to use our data as much as we can, and, like, our hot spots, and I'm going to, sure. whenever we go anywhere, I'm going to have my videos ready to post them, and, like, mm -hmm. it was, you know, it was a lot, it was frustrating, so that's been a big benefit. We can afford internet. <laughs> yeah, um, wow. But the other, I mean... 
other big benefits is like for me homeschooling is a huge thing um i just i was a rec therapist and it seemed like something for our family my husband um isn't super busy in the winter and so mm, i remember your story now i'm gonna let my dog out real quick oh, is that sure, okay? no. oh of course of course i'll right. i'll keep everybody um, Come here, dude. uh i just saw a comment here actually from oh barony and mcclure what's going on buddy that was a great story uh good to see you man good morning dylan Jason, great story, right? Hey, JS, good to see you. Beth, great to have you on. Good to see you. Hattie, she was determined. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for being here. Oh. Love what you do. You'll never work a day in your life. Come on now. I agree with that. I agree with that. And I also agree uh, okay. that it becomes eventually a something that doesn't feel like work. You know, this is this, you know, people are talking about, hey, you know, do this until or somebody made the comment of do this until it doesn't feel like work anymore. Um, you had made that comment a few moments ago that you didn't yeah. feel like it, it, it was work. Um, but you were telling us some of the benefits. What what other of uh, what else has been surprising? I, I, anything in particular with maybe your husband or kids? Or you mentioned yeah. the neighbors are all asking you for b business advice and what you're doing. What what else has been kind of interesting that's happened? Um. So well, one, my husband signed up. Oh. Um. So he signed up, and he is like, he just like loves seeing me happy doing something but also for him he like worked i mean he's worked concrete 80 hour weeks in the heat yeah. and for him like he's been so conditioned to think that you have to be out there physically working every hour of the day yeah. um, so to see his mindset shift of like there are other opportunities in this internet and you know this world wide web out there yeah. is full of opportunities so that's been really interesting too to just like understand the magnitude mm. of what is out there that's been yeah. really wild for me to just understand that can you say more about that i mean for people that may yeah. not even have any idea of what you mean by that um when people think i i say this so often because i think what happens is when you're trying to educate someone on affiliate marketing they get stuck in the algorithm of education on affiliate marketing and what they don't ever under understand or research is the amount of affiliate programs out there in companies. It's like, it's anywhere. And I mean, even in local businesses, they would be happy to have affiliates out there. Um, and so I think when you really think about how many opportunities that I think people think of longevity and they get afraid of like, oh, like, you know, I'm going to do this and then what's going to happen? It's like, well, what's going to happen is you're going to hone in on your skills and you can go to any company with affiliate. You can start as many niches as you want. I always tell someone, get really comfortable in one area and understand it and learn it and mm -hmm. then branch out. And there's just um, so many areas that are growing right now. It is not yeah. limited to just like a, this little piece of the pie that people think like there are. Yeah wild amount of companies out there that you can apply for that you can that you can grow um mm. but you have to obviously understand how to do it the right way and learn the right way and then feel confident in that and and yeah. get those skills yeah so, we had a we had a lady that approached a martial arts instructor and they 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 put together a pretty simple affiliate program and she went on to do tens of thousands of dollars in in affiliate referral sales from she, we had him we had her, we had her on wake up legendary actually this was like well over a year ago That's um so cool. client here who you know just went through our training and and did exactly what you're talking about sort of went and found somebody that she really loved their services and because of seeing things having the knowledge to be able to see things in a different way. It's it's sort yeah. of like the knowledge is the most important thing in our life. It, it's it's more important than any, anything. It, it'll it'll make the difference in how you raise your kids and how they turn out. It, yeah. It'll it'll make the difference between your you know how long you live. It'll make the difference between how you live, how much you make. Money is not a. It's not. I mean, t in today's day and age, for a long time there were advantages that people have. And I think uh, to a certain extent, there still is in society. There's an advantage that people have. Don't worry about the dog. But, but, um, but this levels the playing field. This levels the playing field. Yeah, and, I and, completely agree. 
Yeah, it's, it, I mean, I think crazy. like there are so many people that go into it that really do want this to work for them. They really do. And I think though they just lack the like, you do have to learn the skills. And I think it's so funny in the course, not that I didn't love the mindset, I didn't appreciate or understand the importance of the mindset until I got into it. I remember until, you saying that on our yeah, first Yeah, until interview. like even now, like, you know, I'm five months into it and I have had success, but it doesn't mean that I'm not like, you know, like, oh, like, what do I need to do? And I need to do more. And am I not doing enough? And like, and just being like, no, you are showing up every day. You're doing what you've been taught. You're learning and continuing to learn the skills um, and just realizing like you get so much knowledge from this and like just just growing on that. And I, I say this a lot to people, like when you get a college degree, you don't just like get a college degree and then you go and like get this great job and you're wildly successful. Like you have to go into the real world and you have to grow upon those skills. And it's the same thing with affiliate marketing. You learn so much and all of the resources, but you also have to then learn to apply those to real life. Like how yeah. do you apply those to real life and expand those? Yeah. And I think the, the power of this community is that there's so many people and just the show. I mean, if a student was to come in, there's so many distractions, but if a student was to come in and just go through our training and then tune into the show, just like you did, you're going to get a million examples. You're going to get ideas yeah. daily. You're going to have more ideas and more examples than you know what to do with. And it all comes back to what our guest yesterday on the show said, which is taking the shot, just yeah. taking the shot. The majority, and this is what I know about being in this industry for, for over a decade, the majority of failure, the majority of struggle just simply comes from not trying. It's not that it's not possible. It's not that you don't have the right information. And especially if you're here, the undeniable proof's all around you. It's just that you're not taking the shots. It's not that you're not capable. It's not that you can't do it. It's not that there's anything wrong with any of you. And that's a big thing that I think we have to give ourselves a break. There's nothing wrong with you because you're hesitant. If you yeah. are hesitant and you're listening, there's nothing wrong with you if you're skeptical. There's nothing wrong with you if you're fearful. There's nothing wrong with you if you're paralyzed with anxiety and fear. There's nothing wrong with you. That's all totally normal feelings. Yeah. I think where, I it be there. where it becomes a problem is when you let it create inaction rather than action. That's it. And, yeah. and for me, what I've learned to do with sweaty arm, I sweat like a pig. I, and it, I, and seriously, so I got all kinds of shit that's wrong with me and going on with me and weird. And here's, I think, the key, pushing through it and doing it anyways, because there's just nobody that's coming to save me. I look, I got a window right here. I look out it every day. I say, you know, maybe there's going to be a black chopper that's or somebody's going to come in and land in the, my front yard. Save me. Hey, Dave, it's your turn. You've been such a good person. You're done working. You just yeah. can take. But nobody's coming. Nobody's coming to save me. Nobody's coming to save any of us. So we have to d deal, play with the hand that we got, whether it's anxiety or whatever, and push through it. So tell us one thing that we wouldn't know about you besides the other cool stuff that you shared that sort of like my sweating and anxiety and all this other stuff. What might we not know about you that you've pushed through and had success despite it? Um, I think a lot of people, a lot of people come and they tell me that they're fearful and things like that. I think a big thing that I try to get across is I actually, oh my gosh, I'm going to let, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, I feel so bad. Don't feel bad. We, we, we don't care. As a matter of fact, everybody appreciates the fact that we're, you know, live. It's like, real. We're letting dogs out. Yeah, we're talking so about sweaty armpits. And, and of course, you, you don't have to be as much of a dog and a pig as I am here talking about all my disgusting no, you're fine. habits. I, but I, I like to me. normalize things for people. I like to let people know that I got all the same feelings and, 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 and in some ways, uh, you know, mental or emotional disadvantages. Okay. Yeah. I, um, I have always struggled with, um, ups and downs and anxiety. And, um, I feel like a big thing for me is feeling like 
worthy. Like that's been very hard for me. So there are some times where it's going really well and I'll be like, this isn't going to keep going well. Like I should yeah. just quit. Like mm. what's the point in this? Like, you know, and, and I do get down on myself or like, I'm not doing enough. Like you yeah. should various, you should be doing more. Like you're not enough and you need to be doing more. And that's something that is a mental battle. Like I've it, heard of a lot of moms say that too, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my what in, in the, the, the feelings of, um, a lot of, I don't even want to try to dis mansplain or describe, but um, I've heard a lot of women say that, you know? Yeah. And I think a lot of people see my videos sometimes too, where they're, you know, I'm bubbly or I get a lot of people that are like, how do you make time? And how do you, and I'm like, you know, sometimes it's not always easy. There's sometimes where I look at my husband and I'm like, you know, and I, I really don't work that much, but I sometimes get guilty as in like, oh man, like maybe I did like work two hours a day and I kind of ignored my daughter for a minute and I'll, and I'll be like, gosh, like, am I a terrible person? Like, and, and, you know, and then I realized like I'm in the season of like, you, there's not, everyone thinks there should be this balance, like this weird balance. And I'm like, no, sometimes there's not a balance. Sometimes I'm grinding and that's okay. And then on the weekends I am there and I'm killing it with my kids. And then, you know, sometimes I'm not the greatest spouse or I'm not the greatest this. There's not some weird balance. Everything ebbs and flows. And mm. for me, I've had to be okay with that. And yeah. and that's, it's not always easy, but I think people see you on social and your, your videos where you're always like, yeah, pointing and happy. And it's like, sometimes before I take those, I'm tired. And I, yeah. and I don't know if they're going to be hits. And I look at my views and I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Mm -hmm. Um, and so, yeah, that makes me really, I feel like human, like I'm, I have emotions. It's hard. It's not always easy. Um, yeah. and you got kids, right? Shayla yeah. says she's overwhelmed as a twin mom and you, you have kids and, yeah. and you said you're homeschooling them. And let me tell you something that alone, I got a six year old and a, and a one year old at home that alone, holy is a full time <laughs> job. And, and yeah. so I can, I can see as you're talking how that pressure could, could and would build up on you and you would uh, begin to be hard on yourself and, and think, am I good enough? Am I doing enough? And um, I think a lot of people might, who have a lot less on their plate would feel that way. And, and yeah. so that tells me that it doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with what we have on our plate. It just ha has to do with what we have in our head. Yeah, and, and how we choose to see it, and how we choose to frame these situations, and I'm I'm so happy to hear that you're 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 giving yourself that that break, and you also have gave up that fa that fantasy of this balance that people talk about, because I really think that we have a lot of things in our head that we think because we've heard about them, like balance, that oh we don't have it and we'll never achieve it, and the truth is. <laughs> these assholes out here on the internet acting perfect don't have it all going on either right i completely agree i think like with the balance too and like i just remember something you just said too like so many people are like i just don't know if i have the time or this and that and i'm like you know i used to be that person that would be like i said this other day waiting for the publishing clearinghouse thing <laughs> i was filling in at my grandma's and i'd be like yeah this is it. We're, we're going to win it, grandma. We're going to win it, mom. And I always had that mentality, like someday an envelope's just going to arrive in my mailbox and we're going to be financially set. And I was like, that is bull crap. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. And so why am I waiting? I'm waiting for someone to save me. That is never going to save me. So I can either like get through it and, and make the commitment, or I can just sit and waiting my entire life. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I have people that are like, oh, like I've been at this for two months and I, I'm almost to a thousand, but you know what? I, I don't think it's working for me. So I think I'm just going to switch to the whole different platform. Yeah. And I'm like, well, no, like you could be on the cusp of greatness. Don't right. stop. You're going to have weeks. You're going to have two weeks that are going to suck, yeah. but you might have one week. That's really freaking awesome. Yeah. So it's just, oh yeah, it's just. It's not, you know, you got to stick with it. You have to. And this is the one thing that I've really stuck with and that I'm like, 
what about the other stuff that I should have stuck with? Like, where can my success be? So I'm right. so happy that I'm, I'm seeing that now. Yeah, it's, it's, I said this to my wife actually yesterday, and I can't remember what I was talking about, but su- half the battle of success is literally showing up. It's literally showing up. And, and, um, I think that if I was to, if I only had one thing, like, you know, there was a genie and he said, you got one, one wish. Well, if I had one guess, if the, the guessing genie said, Dave, say the one thing that's the number one killer of people's success that are doing, this digital marketing model online. And really this applies to to most businesses, but I'll tell you the number one thing that I've seen over the years. Would everybody like to hear that? Anybody on the show interested in the number one? And this isn't by a little bit, it's by like, this is the big killer. And M just said it. It's quitting too soon. Yeah. It's stopping too soon. That's it. That's the number one thing. Wait, Dave, it's not some, you know, it's not some really complicated. Nope, it's not. It's just that people stop too soon. It, it's the same reason why we don't have a whole world of clean and sober people. Because like me, I came into recovery and those first 30, 45 days, I was so, this was 2008. For those of you who don't know my story, I got clean from opiates, heroin. The detox was is on that. And I've been clean from that for, uh, since 2008 and the detox on that is mind blowing, mind blowing, mind painful. Yeah. And you, you probably know you're a therapist, right? You probably, Uh, yeah, uh, it's so physically like, it feels like you're dying, debilitating, crippling. And I almost quit before the miracle happened. You see, I almost gave up, you know what I mean? Because it hurt, because it was uncomfortable, because I didn't want to go through it. And, you know, I watch a lot of interviews uh, of various people, just listening to people's stories. Um, I like, I like human nature. I like reality. I like, I like the underworld. I like all the things that nobody likes to talk about. And we all love to pretend doesn't exist. I like those things. (laughs) And so, um, you know, I was watching an interview last night of, of, a, of some active addicts on uh, the YouTube channel, Soft White Underbelly. And um, yeah, they were like, we don't want to go through the detox. That's why we're not getting clean. And I, I can relate to that. Um, I can relate to that. And I've got this wonderful life because I, I did. You know, I've got this wonderful life because I, you know, I did go through it. I, I didn't stop before the miracle happens. Um, I got a life as a high school drop out. We, we uh, were named by Inc. Magazine and we'll have all the stuff coming out, all the trophies and plaques, and maybe even we'll be in the magazine um, here over the next couple of months. Uh, we're the 63rd fastest growing education, privately held education company in America over the last year. I mean, why? How? Because I and a bunch of other people didn't quit. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like we didn't quit too early. Uh, nobody here is so talented that ever we're just riding on their talent. You know what I mean? Like I'm not yeah. so talented. I'm not. I mean, I I'm I'm a marketer and and I've got a lot of tenacity, but I'm not the most talented guy in the world. But I just won't quit, won't stop, and that's what I'm hearing you saying right now as well. Yeah, I get a lot of people too that are like scared like of well I hear like people's accounts are getting taken down and all like stuff like that and in my mind I just always say like today is a day and tomorrow's another day and I'm gonna cross that hurdle when it comes but like I feel like people get so worried about that then they quit because they're worried about that and it's like but that's just like that's just another thing to like to move forward with like that's just another thing to move forward with and I think that like for me it's like I could have looked at it but like you know what like this is taking an hour away from my kids. It's not worth it. But then I look at the big picture. I'm like, no, now I'm homeschooling my kids. So they'll get even more time with me. Or, you know, let's say I want to grind for the next, come here, dude. I want to grind for the next year. If I'm going to grind for the next year and that allows my husband in turn to learn this and do this and us to be able to go to Florida in the winters for two months because financially we're able to do that. And I have that time with my kids. For me, that's worth the grind. So yeah. it's really like where you end up putting those those priorities at. But so many people, I think, too, want that quick payoff. And I'm like, yeah. 
you know, you might have to grind for a year, but then you can have a payoff for 10 years. And I think that's so important to see, like, you might be giving some something up. You might be giving those nights on the couch with your husband watching Netflix, which I get that. My husband works all the time um, and it's hard for us. And, you know, as a couple, you're like, you know, I should be sitting or hanging out or spending time with him. But to realize, like, if I put that on pause and I take that time of not sitting on the couch and I put it into something that will allow us to be able to take a vacation and have more quality time, that's worth it. So you really have to look, you have to look at it in the long run and, yeah. and what that grind is going to be worth. Um, and, you know, for me too, like, it's not like I have my kids all the time. I work maybe an hour or two a day. Sometimes I will have my mother-in-law come and I'll yeah. do three hours in a day, but you can make this work around your schedule mm. and you can, you just have to say you're going to do it and do mm. it. Mm. And it's not always going to be at the most opportune time, but yeah. it works. And now's a dang good time to be pretty much building everything you can build because we don't know where 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 the world's going. And I'll tell you what's also cool. And Emma, I I don't know if you've experienced this. I'll um I'll let you go after this question. I I know you got a house full there, <laughs> um uh particularly your 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 curmudgeon dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> old codger that's that's exactly what mine was king uh he was old codger but um the uh the it's 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 certainly worth it um it's certainly worth it i've i've found it to be worth it and um and i wonder if you uh being being at home around your kids and and you know uh now having this this extra time there at home to be with your with your kids um, what sort of lessons do you think it's teaching them and what do you think you're showing them despite what you're thinking in your head? What do you think long term you're showing them and, and, and ultimately they're going to take away from this experience with you? Yeah, I think that I think a big thing for me is showing them that you can follow your passion and be successful. You can follow that creative niche like you can if you find yourself as a creative person you don't have to hide that away like you don't have to steal mm -hmm. that away to like be something that you're not like you can totally dive into that and lean into that and be successful um and that you can make your own path if you have a will to have a different life you can change your life and i mm -hmm. hope that they see that they they watch me all the time and they'll be like, my mom does this or something. But then I see them like be so proud and I want them to be proud in anything that they do. I want them, if they want to, I don't know, be an artist and travel the world, be an artist and travel the world, but you better work for it and you better be the best one out there and you better stay a learner. And I want them to have that passion for whatever they do. I want them to have passion for it. I don't mm -hmm. want them to be in this cycle of just, doing what they're told and mm. want them to really love everything they do and be so confident in who they are. Mm. So I it hope thinks. that they see that. And I think they've, they've watched me transform in a great mm. way in the past five months. And, and the, the financial gain is wonderful, but I think that right there, watching their mom transform and feel confident in who she is and love what she does and say, you know what, this is something mommy's doing for her and for us mm -hmm. has been wildly change, like life changing for us and for them. Well, thanks for sharing uh, that with us. Uh, once again, you know, here, uh, it's so cool to track, you know, your journey and, yeah. you know, to talk to you back when it was probably in your, your head, you were thinking, oh, this is just a fluke. I, I, uh, I don't know if I should even you know, I don't, I don't know if I should even go on wake up legendary and talk about it, you know? Yeah. I definitely was very nervous last time. Yeah. Now you've come back with, with some more, um, certainty and you know what, what, what you're doing now and you're doing it for a purpose and a reason that looks great on you. So be legendary, stay legendary. And, Thanks. Uh, thank you I'm, so much. You're, you're very welcome. And thank you. And, um, we've got your TikTok link up there and I'll put your Instagram as well. And, okay. um, yeah, we'll talk to you probably in another couple of months. Yeah, I hope so. This is really great. Thank you for having me. All right. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. See ya. All right, my friends. Uh, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. She's on Instagram as well, M the Affiliate. And uh, man, I mean, every single day it's a new story and a new uh, and a new journey that we get to document. And, um, you know, it's it never ceases to amaze me uh, what people can achieve, what people can achieve. And I think it's going to blow you away what you can achieve as well. And so take the shot, hit post, hit post again, and then hit post again and keep hitting post because it may not feel like you're getting anywhere, but please don't leave before the miracle happens. All right, we'll be back tomorrow for another episode. Thank you, Em, again for an amazing show, an amazing journey that we get to sort of be a fly on the wall and and uh, and watch. And it's it's so cool, so cool to see it happen. All right, everybody, get out of here. Have a fantastic day. Be legendary. We'll talk to you back here tomorrow for another episode. Kenny M. Easter time. Peace.